The rise and fall of Helldivers 2 is going to be studied for a long, long time. Very rarely do you have an indie game completely and totally dominate the conversation for as long as Helldivers 2 did. Like, it came out very early in the year, and it has maintained an insane level of popularity, mostly due to the fact that the player base was well taken care of. That you had some... You know, bad faith actors try to infiltrate and you know get the get a pride flag added okay when it's a distinctly apolitical hyper satire along the same lines as starship troopers and it's like no we we're not doing any of that stuff we're not doing any real life references at all we're just going to maintain our stance on this if you like it fantastic we'll continue to support the community over here otherwise no nah, man we're not fallen for any of that stuff. That was one reason that it succeeded, but then again, it was all, it's also a fun game to play from the people that I've heard. I didn't take the dive or anything like that. Third person online shooters aren't really my thing. Online games not really my not, not really my domain, but all the power to you. Between Helldivers 2 and Pal World, they were dominating the scene. Two of the best-selling games of 2024 and reasons believe that that wouldn't be the case throughout the rest of the year maintaining both of those games maintaining their popularity were going to be a hit an absolute hit and then over the past couple of days well i have never ever ever seen a situation like this just an infallible unstoppable a juggernaut of the industry completely and totally commit seppuku like this it's absolutely insane so what are we talking about here helldivers an important message from our partner playstation about account linking for pc players and its significance in providing player safety features a uh, boy we're talking about sony requiring pc players St people who bought the game on steam having to sign up and get a psn account having to get a sony account a company legendary for their inability to keep their consumers private information safe like a f about a decade ago around christmas i remember because it was on the ps3 and somebody who is uh, when they're playing console games a primary you know sony user from way back in the cut i get the psn go down for the, the better part of a week maybe even longer than that and just exposing how absolute crap their network security is it's hilarious for them to say that oh you know uh, we need to tap into our uh, we need to tap into the pc market in order to uh, uh secure and, and ensure their their uh, proper player safety and it's like oh cool we've seen a bunch of different patents that uh, sony has brought online by having dynamic difficulty and then of course oh yeah uh, active ai monitoring of certain types of chat to make sure that they adhere to the rules in terms of service of online communication is that the type of safety features that you're looking at or oh no no we just want to fully integrate the ecosystem but it's wild right so the full message i'm not going to read all of it just some of it due to technical issues at the launch of hell divers 2 we allowed the linking requirements for steam accounts to be uh, to the playstation network account to be temporarily optional yeah when everything was working great that grace period will now expire see details below in the post as such as of may 6 so today when we're reading this all new helldivers 2 players on steam will be required to connect their steam account to a playstation network account wow okay so you had months months where he had a seamless crossplay between ps5 and steam everything was working fine but now all of a sudden you need to have the steam players which i'm pretty sure have the lion's share of users engage with this archaic console crap that a lot of pc players just you know got fed up with and then just decided to go play their games unencumbered now, i hear the complaints and i hear the criticisms oh it's just it's just easy it's just another account you've got multiple accounts oh if you play on pc you probably got a ubisoft account you probably got an ea account just sign up bro this is a company that lied to you this is a company that changed the game after the fact if you think it's not a big issue to just simply sign up for an account you're not paying attention it's just like with the seller blade stuff oh what do you care it's just a couple of costume changes oh as you can find boobs and butts anywhere it's just on the internet no nah, it's the principle it's the principle of the thing because they ask you to do one thing it's one step closer in regards to who controls the experience it's about giving up your rights as a consumer to not have a product tampered with after the fact this is so much bigger than just simply sign up for the account what's the big problem and thankfully we've had a bunch of examples this year and in years past in the games industry 
and a lot of people can see that this is the this is the writing on the wall it's like you cannot let this go any further this is as red of a flag that you can notice as you can see by just this simple tweet from the hell divers 2 account okay 15,000 comments to 14,000 likes 8,000 retweets it's not exactly going over all that well Helldivers 2 players threatened to quit the game after developer announces mandated PlayStation Network account linking. Helldivers 2 is facing a mass exodus from the popular game after it announced it would require Steam players to link a PlayStation Network account to their Steam account in order to play the game beginning in June. Helldivers 2 posted an update to or at 2.30 a.m. Eastern on yeah, May 3rd titled hey, uh, Helldivers 2 account linking update due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers, blah, blah, blah. We went over that stuff. Then it declared as of yes march 6th new or may 6th sorry new hell divers players yes will need to sign up but active players will start to see mandatory logins okay may 30th so by the end of the month and they're required to have a linked uh, a steam and playstation network account by june 4th this is crazy right but this is what you get okay this is what you get when you have sony breathing down your neck because who called for the censorship over at Stellar Blade? Well, that would be Sony. What do both of these products have in common? Sony has first party say on those titles. And while you have Final Fantasy VII Rebirth over there, being a quality game, totally and completely bereft of these issues. And the only thing that they have to do with Sony is uh, taking in a big check for the uh, three month exclusivity window that is about to expire at the end of May. So we might end up seeing a PC port by the end of this year, which, yes. So, and and guess what? Sony can't meddle with any of this stuff after that. But I'm just saying, when Sony has the ability to meddle in something, they're going to take every opportunity to. Numerous players indicated they would stop playing the game given the linking uh, was mandated. As uh, as it appears, Sony's in Sony Interactive Entertainment and Arrowhead Game Studios, the developer of the game, have locked the thread on Steam. And oh boy, it actually gets worse from there. But we'll dig into that in a moment. John Galderos wrote, Future, a desertion of Helldivers 2 in less than a month. Adios! Another player, I don't have a PlayStation account, nor do I want one. I will seek a refund for this PSN account. Oh, if this PSN account is enforced, you're already using a trash anti-cheat uh, on a PvE game. Ugh, it's like Sony doesn't want PC players to play their most popular title. Literally 100 to 0 in three weeks. It's kind of crazy. I, for one, cannot imagine players will want to tolerate being forced to create a Sony account or just to play Helldivers 2 when it's not required for God of War, Monster Hunter, World, or armored core 6 oh that's yeah i didn't even think about that okay because there's a lot of former playstation exclusives that have made their way over to steam like horizon spooderman and god of war yeah the day's gone there's a couple of other ones that are out there obviously but they don't require you to be linked over to sony so i find that interesting Another user wrote, can you explain to me how selling my personal data to Sony PlayStation will make me safer? I play on PC and I don't want to have an additional account with my personal data elsewhere. Uh, oh, anywhere else where it can be taken or where it takes a minute or 10. Uh, this uh, further exposes me to having my data stolen. I find the claim that this is about security and protecting the community to be cynical, lowbrow ploy uh, to target my baser instincts. And it is scandalous. Exactly. Like, there is a principle behind this. This isn't just simply... What's the big problem? You've got a bunch of other accounts. This is something they could have been upfront and honest to you about because shout out to Grums, who we're going to be talking about quite a bit moving forward. The Helldiver CEO moved six or knew six months ago that PSN would be mandatory. So they lied to you up front. 1000% lied to you. Oh, due to technical issues. There was, there was absolutely no indication that this account linking was ever going to be coming down the line. They were upfront about this at the beginning where it's like, yeah, okay, because Sony put up the money in order to get this game published. You're going to have to link because it's, you know, constantly online and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. That's one thing. But this is ex post facto changes to the game. Changes to the game that are having terrible uh, downstream consequences because Helldivers 2 is no longer purchasable in 177 countries where PSN is not available. That's absolutely crazy, but still available, yeah, in the Baltics. Okay, good, but you can't in Afghanistan, Antigua. 
I ain't reading all that stuff. Albania, the Dominican Republic, Kazakhstan, Cambodia, North Macedonia, Myanmar, South Sudan, Chad. Oh, man, Chad's can't hell dive anymore. Samoa, Uzbekistan, Tonga, Barbados, Fiji. Holy crap. Like, I'm reading down a bunch of these places. Like, this is all around the world, obviously, because it's 177 countries and, oh, 150 plus regions. Sony has also just simply decided to pull the game from. Like, this is absolutely wild. Helldivers 2 is no or is now unavailable for purchase in over 150 regions, and Steam is issuing refunds for the game. Yeah, yeah, and about that claim too, because I've seen that circulated a bunch of different times, and people are saying, oh yeah, yeah, we're getting refunds and all that stuff, and seen it play out from a couple of other people, uh, Grums included. Yeah, you can't get a refund for the game if you're over the two-hour limit that Steam sets, so... Yeah, they just simply secured the bag and ran off with it. On Friday, publisher Sony announced that uh, from May 30th, the Steam version of Helldivers will require players to sign in with the PlayStation Network. Uh, this change uh, is present at the game's launch. Oh, I'm sorry. This play, this change, uh, which was present at the game's launch, but then removed, caused a huge backlash. Oh, weird. Weird. The game received over 100,000 negative Steam reviews in less than 48 hours, according to Steam DB. Social media chat around the game has been similarly vitriolic now due to PSN not being available in over 150 countries where Helldivers 2 was previously purchasable on Steam. The game has been delisted in them, according to Steam DB. Or players from any region can create a PSN account for any other region with little fuss. Oh, see, guys, it's not all that big of an issue, right? The lack of official support. For the feature has seemingly forced steam's hand alongside this players are now reporting that the service is issuing refunds for the game regardless of playtime that is false from what i can see so far typically players have yes two hours to decide whether or not they want a refund but valve has seemingly relaxed these rules in the wake of the psn change that could change this week but i also anticipate quite a few changes this week as well but then again it also comes down to the community service and the customer service experience which Divers 2, well, we talked about this. I think we talked about this, or at least a lot of other people have as well, pointing out that the Helldivers community managers, they're like a lot of other community managers that have been exposed during this, I don't know, resurgence of Gamergate, which this, just when you thought, just when you thought everything was going to die down, yeah, this right here is just another big flare-up. Helldivers 2 community managers claim players in countries where PlayStation Network is not available will need to link Steam accounts. Oh, fantastic. How fantastic. Helldivers 2 community manager Spitz claims the game is no longer uh, the game will no longer require players to link a PlayStation account to their Steam accounts in countries where PlayStation Network is not available. Sony Helldivers 2 publisher announced players would be required to link their Steam accounts. Yes, the beginning of June. One of the complaints lodged against the announcements was the fact the PlayStation Network is not available in countries across the world. Helldivers 2 CEO jo or Johan Plis uh, Pilstedt, sure, initially addressed this complaint on May 3rd, writing on X. We're discussing that question with our partners at PlayStation and trying to find a solution. But you knew this was going to be a problem months ago, apparently. Now, one of the game's community managers, Spitz, claims players in countries where PlayStation Network is not available will not need to link a PlayStation Network account in order to play. Then why do other... Or, if this is all about safety, why do the other players need to link their accounts? First, Spitz addressed the flippant remark regarding players' complaints about linking their accounts to PlayStation Network. He wrote, yeah, I was completely unaware how many countries didn't have the ability to make a PSN account when I made the statement to deeply regret, implying uh, that it was so easy for everyone. See, guys, just bend over. Just just grab your ankles for these uh, policy changes that we're not honest or forthright about. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I absolutely, it's absolutely not our intention to force people to break Sony TOS or just not play the game if they're in a restricted region. There needs to be a better solution. Oh, trust me, there does. And especially we need a better solution when it comes to dealing with these stupid, goofy ass community managers. Shout out to Grums once again. They didn't see it coming. Arrowhead, Team Studio behind Helldivers 2, obviously. Community team was not prepped or just in con or or just isn't competent. Well, I might side with the latter. This community and support representative tweeted that Arrowhead is a one who wanted PSN linking in order to more effectively ban Helldivers accounts, not Sony. Oopsie daisy.
post has since been taken down. She also locked her account. No, it's oh okay. So yeah, so this thread right here, and yet people still couldn't get in. It's the process to force people into an ecosystem when they don't want to because Sony. I uh, think it'll make people pay for their products. No, it's to allow us to ban people. It's the sole reason. Oh, thank God for idiots. Now Grums once again highlighting. Oh, another she her community manager. Held average community team is the worst I've seen in gaming. They're also extremely political, woke, and hate gamers. Stop me if you've heard this before. Let's take a look at the first lead, uh, Baskinator. I've wrote about Baskinator before. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this one. And since uh, she, uh, then, uh, she's both removed the flags in her bio and has since replaced them. As if we wouldn't notice, she is a DEI advocate that appears to hate men, gamers, and white people. Again, stop me if you've heard this before. Uh, Spitz ignited the PSN backlash with his mocking of people who complained about the PSN policy, extremely unprofessional approach to legitimate game issues that block thousands of gamers and non-PSN countries, made the problem so much worse for Arrowhead. Misty claimed the PSN change was to allow people to ban people... Or it was to allow her to ban people more effectively as if this is the primary role she relished as community manager. Yeah, because they're all just petty tyrants. Combined, Baskinator, the lead, Spitz, and Misty are from are form the majority of the core of the community management team for Helldivers. They've all gone into hiding since a PSN backlash hit and the opposite of what community managers should be doing during a PR crisis. Exactly, man. That's very much what's happening right here. And look at all of the idiots that are just down there, just absolutely apologizing for this like the people who hate grums for exposing all of this nonsense are absolutely absurd misty's not a man it's a girl okay cool if that was your big takeaway from this i really hope she sees this bro and hating the tories doesn't mean that you're hard left no it's just your bio and your posts kind of reveal and kind of play your hand but if you want to go ahead and you want to simp for a company that intrinsically doesn't care for being honest to their customers who hires people who hates their consumer base go ahead and sign up for that stuff sony hates gamers and sony had the biggest the gaming hit of 2024 on their hands but they couldn't couldn't conceal detestation for their user base any longer and well now they're reaping exactly what they sow. It's going to be an interesting story to follow because I highly doubt this is going to be the last time we're going to be hearing about this absolute catastrophe for before this policy change becomes mandatory. And would you look at that? Even before I had the opportunity to publish my video, PlayStation, in a rare moment of lucidity, decided that, yeah, you know what? We have the biggest game of 2024 on our hands, and the one thing that we did in order to drive incredibly a negative feedback for the game, uh, we, made this, uh, we made this decision that is seemingly arbitrary, so you know what? We might as well make another arbitrary decision and totally reverse course take a look at this helldivers fans we've heard your feedback on helldivers 2 account linking update the may 6th update which would have gone into effect today which would have required steam and playstation network uh, account linking for new players and for current players beginning may 30th will not be moving forward this is the first time in a long time hell i haven't even been able to check any reference I don't even know when PlayStation has ever reversed course like this on such unpopular decisions. This is a huge moment, okay? We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we will keep you updated on future plans. Now, at time of recording, full transparency on this one, this was like three hours, three and a half hours removed from when this update was posted to when I had an opportunity to update this. So yeah, this is hot off the presses. And like I said, at the end of the original video, this is going to be a very interesting turn of events because I've never seen backlash like this. I have never seen the public sentiment turn from just outright admiration for a game to turn to outright condemnation so quickly like this over the course of three days, right? Because this just dropped Friday and then they had a chance to what? let this gestate over the weekend and realize that wow this is an incredibly stupid decision so to see playstation and sony not go oh we've taken on so many death threats oh there's just been such a such a such such a big number of outraged gamers that are out there a bunch of neckbeards basement dwellers nothing like that 
That's just a simple response right there. And the response to that, having a business like Sony admit defeat like this, this is the one opportunity where they had to win back public sentiment, and it seems to have worked. This just goes to show you, man, you might not think you have enough power to go ahead and push back against these corporations. You might think that I'm just one person. I just have one account. I'm one voice. You know, I like the game, but now it's just gone by the wayside. If you speak up, if you simply make your voice heard, it will be powerful enough. Okay. Let this go. Let this show. There is a monumental turn in the tide that this battle to take video games back is far from over because it was beyond a level of hubris for sony to think that they could go ahead and do this to begin with but the fact that there has been a reversal of fortune this quickly shows that we're winning just a little bit just a little bit so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone